Dave Henson has Rio in his sights. The 31-year-old who stepped on an improvised explosive device in Hellmound five years ago is hoping to go to the Paralympics and win a medal in the 200 meters. His great-grandfather served in World War I, rescuing injured soldiers from the battlefield. I think I would find it incredibly difficult to even picture what it was that they went through back in, uh, back in 1916, 1917, sitting in a trench filled with mud, dead bodies, rats, lice, infection was rife. It's very hard for me to imagine just how terrified they must have been. A hundred years ago, the horror of war was compounded by the new weapons that were emerging. Tanks were deployed for the first time at the Somme, and machine guns were used with devastating effect. War was transformed. The result was the largest number of casualties ever seen in modern history. This was very high velocity weaponry, large blast injuries, missiles, shells, shell fragments. So at the very heart of it, the wound had changed. They were blowing great bits out of people. Around 40,000 soldiers returned home with missing limbs. For the first time, the medical world had to come up with ways of getting large numbers of amputees back into society. I can't imagine trying to go back and do the things that I'm doing now on a, on a pair of legs like this and I look at this leg and the only thing I can imagine doing is, is, is being in a wheelchair. The historical evidence is that people tried it for five or six years and then really they went back home or went into a star and got a home and simply weren't able to function. And suddenly doctors had to deal with reconstructing the faces of tens of thousands of soldiers. Many never overcame the psychological impact of their injuries. They're called Hospital Blues really for, for very obvious reasons. They are a, a suit that was issued to pretty much all the military casualty patients. It came to be something that the public recognised, so that if out of the corner of your eye you caught blue, you knew immediately that there was somebody over there who was a military casualty and really increases their sense of isolation and stigma. A century later, as Dave Henson prepares to compete on the world stage, that sense of isolation is far from his reality. I have no reason to hide this. This is something that's happened to me. Um, I lost my legs and there's an interesting story behind it. I'm very proud of what I've done. And I'm so happy to share that with people and, and, and to display that in, in, I guess, in the form of these war wounds that I keep on show more or less 99% of the time.